It's a bright Saturday morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go pick Max up in a bit because he stayed over at a friend's house last night, so I'll probably take him to lunch. And uh, my parents are flying off to, to Miri today, which means Max is holding a house party tonight. I don't know, I think I'm too old for that. I always forget things just as I'm about to leave the house. So I feel kind of sad because I just had to say goodbye to one of my um, one of my paintings today. Um, it was a painting of a Rafflesia that I did not long ago, and uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it here. Um, I didn't really like this painting when I did it. You know, in fact, I thought it was probably one of my worst pieces. Um, but I don't know. I, I guess the more I worked on it, the better it got. But I think it's also this this idea of you know you don't quite appreciate some of the work that you've done un until until you're forced to part with it. And this is exactly how I feel right now. I didn't like this painting so much, but now that I'm giving it away, I can't help but feel like, ah, oh, I just want to, I just want to keep it for a little longer. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned is let go of your darlings. What I mean by this is, you know, you produce something really good, and you know, it's it's very natural to feel like, oh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do that again, you know, or, or how am I gonna do that again? But the lesson here is you're always gonna progress and there's no use holding on to past projects or past um, paintings or past you know albums or songs that you've created you've got to believe that you are perfectly capable of producing something far greater than this and so this has been a huge lesson for me to just let go and just trust you know as a Christian or you know no matter what religion you believe in believe in divine intervention you know because when you put yourself out there when you do things that are out of the ordinary when you do new things you know I feel like for me personally that's when I tend to rely on God a little bit more you know because it's like hey I'm not working on my strengths anymore this is something new so I will need guidance in times like those even more than ever before I think that the overall message is to just move on you know believe that there are better things ahead. Believe that you are gonna get better with time. And not to hold on to past glories because you'll never go anywhere if you're stuck in the past. So this cannot go without passing. I'm listening to one of the songs in preparation for Sunday's worship. It's called Great Are You Lord uh, from All Sons and Daughters. Now, great song, but what I found even more fantastic is there's a slide section. For those of you who are a bit unsure about what I'm talking about, slide is... This is a slide. And what you do is you put this slide like you would a ring on your finger. And then you're able to do stuff like this. So you get the idea. Um, so basically this song has a section which has a slide bit in it and I'm very excited about that because I haven't used the slide in church before so this should be pretty interesting. Fender Strat, John Mayer Custom. I don't know how she does it. Sounds so simple but tastes so mwah. 